What's up friends, on today's video, we've got some visitors to the track. Bolo Brown, AKA Miniature Car Racing, sent in about 10 cars for me to put up against some of my modified and also stack cars. And Brian Creasy's in the house. He sent in a ginormous box of stock race cars. He's got them all prepped for speed and he wants to see how they do against the ranks. We'll see if we can't get a few of them into the stack. And these are the 10 cars that Bolo Brown sent in to race up against the ranks. We'll go ahead and step through the way in real quick. 62 grams on the Hot Wheels bus. And these, I believe, are all modified cars. We got the Studebaker pickup weighing in at 58.4 grams. Audi Avant weighing in at 58 on the nose. Ford Lightning. Weighing in at 55.9, Lancia. This guy weighs in at 51.8. Uh, I think this is Hot Wheels High. Uh, 49.6 grams on him. Mustang Mach-E. 47.4 grams. Porsche Panamera in silver, 47.2. Uh, what is this, off track? I think that's off track. He weighs in at 45.9 grams. And the Pagani Hawaira. He is the lightest of the group, weighing in at 42.1 grams. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some solo runs on the track with these guys. And based on their weight, I've got my modified cars over here in the jammer. We'll go ahead and put uh, the associated weighted cars up against each other. Um, what else? It's been a while since I've been on with you guys. So uh, we've had some changes in the stack. I've been doing a lot of reworking, uh, resorting, testing, etc., etc. I've got two cars that are in the stack. Those are both Fast and Furious. They're over at Elevation Diecast Racing for the Racing in the Past lane. Um, we've got... Uh, I think it's four slots. I'm only seeing three. I think we got four slots over here for the Matchbox cars that I've sent off to Chase Family Racing. Uh, so that is where those cars are going. And you'll see those up here probably in another three or four days when he commences with that race. And our current gatekeeper now is Han Solo in Carbonite. Starting off with our lightest weight car first, we're going to go ahead and run off the Pagani Huayra. We'll get times on each of these guys in the different lanes, 2355, swapping them up, 2358. Off track will be the next one up. Here we go. Sounds pretty good, 2297 in lane one. 2311. Porsche Panamera, next up in the blocks. 22.59. That's a good running car, 22.59. And we're swapped. 22.64. Mach-E Mustang, next up in the blocks. 22.65. This time in lane one, 2291. Hot Wheels High, next up into the blocks. 2301, over to lane one, 2307. Lancia, next one up, here we go. 2267. And we're swapped. 2284. Getting a little heavier, stepping up to the Ford Lightning. Lane one. 2312. Over to lane two. 2323. Audi. 
Next car in the blocks. Twenty-three oh six. Over to lane one. Twenty-three thirty-one. Studebaker pickup. Next up. Ooh. Twenty-three fifty-seven. Hmm. Swapping them. 2315. I was looking at the car and the wheels, they're not glued in place. Looks to me like that uh, rear chunk is going to be riding down this track a little bit. Dragon tail. Scrubbing speed. And the last one doing solo runs is the Hot Wheels school bus. And he is the heaviest one here. 2284. Going to lane one. 2295. Okay, out of those 10 cars, looks like his Porsche Panamera is going to be the fastest one out of the lot. He did have on his little race entry sheet that he wanted to challenge the stack. Well, we are kind of comparing apples to oranges a little bit here since... Uh, Bolo's cars are mods. Everything in my ranks are stock. We'll run them off anyway, why not? All right, here we go. Yeah, that's the time we're looking at now to get in the stack. 2244 to 2264. Things have been getting faster here lately. Uh, you remember that guy, don't you? Well, he's back in action. He was my number one car for a long time, the Black Solaire, and he has found some new gears. Uh, got quite a few funny cars in the ranks as well. I think you guys saw that one in the stack the last time I had a video, and old 44 is still there, and the Roadrunner is still there as well. Swapping lanes, 2244 is the mark. 2247 to 2262. So the fastest car out of the bunch, not gonna penetrate the stack, not today. Um, <laughs> I've been testing cars for a long time, been reworking cars, reworking wheels. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort into all these weight ranks. Um, it's getting more and more difficult for me just to find cars to get into the ranks that are good enough. Uh, you'll see it, it'll happen, but it doesn't happen as quickly as it used to, that's for sure. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's a tall order getting past that guy right there, uh, let alone into the ranks. In fact, we can go ahead and try that out if you want to. Porsche weighing in at 43 grams. So that would be the 41 to 50 gram weight class. I've got four rows of those guys. It goes in descending order of speed like this and that makes storm character car my current gatekeeper into that weight category so storm in lane number two the porsche in lane number one this is the gatekeeper into the ranks 66 to a 68 pretty close Langer swap 22 66 is the mark Oof. 65 to a 72, terrible run by Storm there. So the Porsche would have indeed dispatched Storm. Flash Sider is the next one that I've got up in the ranks. Porsche lane one, Flash Sider lane two. 2273 to a 66. Major swap 66 is the mark. 76 to a 67. So Porsche beating out those two cars. Uh, this one barely seems like, uh, I don't know, maybe they need to swap places. Uh, let's take a step over to the left. Again, these are all stock cars. They are in the 41 to 50 gram ranks. This is the gold Hot Ones Corvette Stingray. Porsche lane one, Stingray lane two. 
Pretty good race. 2270 to a 2268. Ledger swap, 2268 the mark. 67 to a 70. Times are getting a little bit tighter here. So let's just move up a few. We'll check out Buzz Lightyear. Porsche lane one, Buzz in lane two. Pretty good race, 2273 to a 2270. 2270 the time to beat. 70 to a 73. Uh, hmm. Let me check the other time that that uh, buzz posted just a second ago. Okay, 70 to a 73. So they're pretty much at an even matchup right here. So if he were stock, he would be right in that area, either below or above the F-150 somewhere in there. So, yep, that's the portion. And to get his money's worth, I think we'll just go ahead and start running these off against each other. Because, unfortunately, I don't think some of these cars are going to show very well down here. Um, we'll race these off against each other, and then we'll find out who goes up against the Porsche. Yeah, off track with serious gappage. Next up, off track. In lane one, going up against the Mach-E Mustang. 22.83, and that was gapage. Mach-E Mustang advances. Mach-E Mustang now in lane number one with the, I believe that's Hot Wheels High, in lane two. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments if I'm wrong about the name of the bus. Mustang, 22.87 to 22.90. Lane swap is 22.87 is the time. And the Mustang gets it 22.91 to a 23.04. Next up, we've got the Lancia in lane one and the Mustang in lane two. Oh, the Lancia, 22.80 to a 22.85. Lane swap is 22.80 is the mark. Lancia, 22.72 to a 22.81. Next in line, we got the Ford Lightning in lane one and the Lancia in lane two. Here we go. That was Gappage, 2281 to a 2305. And we got the Audi in lane one and the Lancia in lane two. Here we go. Lancia with Gappage, 2278 to a 2315. Anytime I race these cars and I get Gappage on them, I don't do a re-race. Uh, with that being said, I don't think the Studebaker is going to fare too well on this one. Yep. Yeah. 2280 to a 2337. Next in line, we got the bus in lane two and the Lancia in lane one. Here we go. Decent race. 2279 to a 2282. Swapping lanes, 2279 is the mark. Uh, Lancia got out on him. 2280 to a 2296. All right, so we've got the two fastest going up against each other, Lancia in lane one and the Porsche in lane two. I think we know what's going to happen here. 68 to an 85. Lanes are swapped. I don't think Lancia has a chance. He's out of the blocks pretty good. 2292 to a 2272. So, yeah, indeed... The Porsche head-to-head -head is the fastest out of the, all the cars that were sent. Let's go over to the box of goodies. I've got these pretty much in order of speed going like this. With the exception of him, he's pretty slow. He just doesn't fit in one of these squares. Uh, this guy's pretty quick. You think he probably would be fourth or fifth overall? Again, he doesn't fit in the square either. So, um, well... I don't think you guys have seen this one run in a while. Johnny Lightning, Regal, Black with Flames version. He had really crappy wheels right out of the package, so I did an FTE swap with him. No added weight, just kind of a wheel swap. We'll put him up against the Porsche and get this thing started. Don't remember what Johnny Lightning was running. 
73 to an 84. Landry Swap, I don't think Johnny's got a chance. Slow out of the blocks, 72 to an 88. So yeah, the Porsche, definitely ranking the modified stuff. Again, a lot of these cars I haven't touched in a while. I know excuses, right? Um, let's jump up a few to this dude right here. I'm terrible with the name on this car. I can't remember what it is. He is basically a premium wheel swap. Sitting right at 50 grams. The Porsche, again, oh, about three grams lighter. Well, we will see how they do. Pretty good race. 70 to a 75. Swapping them up, 2270 is the mark. Terrible run by the black car. 2271 to a 2301. Don't know what happened there. Sounded like it clipped something on the way down. Well, we'll continue on. This is the Cougar uh, that I made the video with. He is not seeing any love or attention in a while. He'll be going up against Porsche. Good race. Porsche drove around him though. 2273 to a 2279. Laser swap 2273 is the mark. 69 to a 79. Next one up. Camaro. This is premium wheel swap. And I believe those are color shifter wheels inside that Camaro. 65 to a 71. <laughs> oh, pollen is real out here. Uh, let's see, 2265 is the mark set by the Camaro. Wow, 71 to an 85. I don't know why my cars are not liking lane one for some reason. Now let's skip the truck and run the Lambo. Another premium wheel swap with color shifter axles. Some old builds of mine. 77 to a 79. And the sad thing about it is a lot of these mods that I did back in the day are probably slower than some of these stock ranks I've got up here. But that's how it goes. 72 to a 72. I don't remember what the last time was. 77 to a 79, uh, 77 by the Porsche, 79 by the Lambo. Uh, you see the one above the number, that means he beat the uh, Porsche by some unknown 10 thousandths of a second. So uh, yeah, Lambo beating out the Porsche. Let's take one more step, BMW M3, uh, just to confirm any doubts, see how it does against that guy. Here we go. 71 to a 73. Good race. Swapping them up, the BMW has a 22, 71. Yeah, 64 to a 69. So the Porsche is definitely gonna fit right around the territory of here or here. Um, we can run him, see how he does. Why not? Porsche should beat this guy. Yeah, you never know. He might throw off some dirty air. Let's see how it does. And go. Oh, the truck's running pretty quick. 2264 to a 73. And the swap, 2264 is the time. 68 to a 73. Well, the Lambo probably Needs to go down there, the truck up here. So Porsche gonna be sitting right between the Camaro and the Lambo. Really close race against the Lamborghini though. Um, what do you wanna see? Country Club Muscle now sits at the top of my ranks for the modified class. Uh, we'll weigh him up. I think 80 grams was the max on that race. So he outweighs the Porsche. By a pretty good bit. Again, this is 
not gonna be a very fair race just based on the weight alone. But I'm sure you probably wanna see something in regards to speed, see how we do up it towards the top. Here we go. Twenty-two twenty-five to a twenty-two seventy-two. Yeah, uh, that guy has benefited from some different wheel work methods. I believe when he was running in the race that was run here, the Blue Line Country Club Special Championship, he was running mid twenty-two forties. So, anyway, twenty-two twenty-five. 2232 to a 2263. So the Porsche actually probably benefited from a little bit of uh, drafting motion going on there. So again, Porsche is going to be around here somewhere. Uh, we can take the Lancia and put them up against, I don't know, we can go up against one of these other cars, see how it does. I don't think the rest are going to be horribly close. Oh, Blackie. What's he weigh in at? Uh, 50.5, I may have weighed him up already. That's gonna be pretty close to the same weight in these two cars. 2290 to an 84. And just swap 22, 84 is the time. 86 to an 89. So the Lancia, he's gonna rank in the mod case. Now let's see how he does against the Camaro. Lancia lane one, Camaro lane two. 66 to an 88. Don't believe the Lancia is gonna pull a 65 out of his hind end. So we'll back down to Cougar. Cougar has seen better days. And I think this will be the last one for tonight. Cougar, 75 to an 84. 75, the time to beat. 83 to an 85. Again, lane one for some reason. Still, uh, Cougar posted faster time in the first pass. So this Lancia is gonna be down here behind the Cougar in front of, I don't remember the name of that car. I should, he'd be right there. Okay, that's gonna do it for miniature car racing. Um, some pretty good cars over here. Those two, pretty good. I think the bus is not too far behind the Lancia, uh, but uh, those two would definitely make it into the modified ranks and the Porsche. I think we determined he was going to be somewhere around Buzz Lightyear, which means Lancia probably would make it in there pretty close to him as well. Uh, I'm not going to run him against the stock cars. Again, he is a mod. He is a little heavier than stock. A little bit of an unfair advantage there, but at least you get kind of an idea where everything's at. Uh, Bolo Brown, you can go back and look at some of the times, probably find out about where that Lancia actually would fall in the stock ranks. Cool to see the cars on the track. Appreciate it, Bull Brown. Miniature Car Racing. Make sure you check him out. I think he's on Facebook. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to some of the cars that Brian Creasy has sent in. Be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, switching gears here. And this is just a small taste of the gift box that Brian Creasy sent to Scale Racing Channel. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of these cars on the track here in the upcoming videos, but uh, a lot of Matchbox, uh, Cougar, a bunch of Camaros. I believe these are all the super fast version from 05 and 06. Uh, this one, I think, is just a regular mainline. Faster than ever GTO. We got an Auto World um, Viper sitting right there and three of the super fast GT40s. All these cars fall within the 31 to 40 gram ranks. Uh, I believe the three GTOs are at the upper spectrum of that weight rank. Um, 41 to 50, we've got 
another GTO, this one, another super fast with the slightly different wheels and a couple of the Chevrolet SSRs. Again, that's 41 to 50 and then four silver bullets. And all of these guys are gonna fall within the 51 to 62 gram ranks. Uh, I think there is maybe one here that's like 62 and a half grams, but that falls within the 51 to 62. It's actually 62.99. But anyway, we're gonna run these off tonight. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and start going through these cars right here. And the overall winner of the 31 to 40 gram ranks, we'll take him and set him up against uh, the display. Same thing goes for the 41 to 50 and also the silver bullets. See if we can't get any of the cars that Brian sent in into the ranks. And if they make it in the ranks, that's where they're gonna stay. Uh, appreciate it, Brian. He's been a long time subscriber to the channel and supporter of the channel. And I surely appreciate all these cars that you sent in. Again, this is just a small taste of what was sent in. And you'll see a lot more of his cars that were sent in being run off in the future. All right, we're going to start this off with the matchbox. We got the Cougar in lane number one and the orange Camaro in lane number two. And uh, I'm guessing Brian likes the superheroes. But we're going to run these off and continue on through the rest of these until we find ourselves an overall winner. All right, here we go. 2301 to a 2314. Later swap Cougar with a 2301, the time to beat. 2293 to a 2309. So Cougar winning out of that pairing. Couple of the green super fast Camaros up next. Not a bad run. 2286 to a 2309. Later swap, 2286 is the mark. Getting faster. 2283 to a 2304. So the big green lantern, 69 Camaro, goes on to the next one. Last Camaro up in the blocks. He'll be going up against the GTO. GTO does have a little bit of a weight advantage. Well, it doesn't seem to matter much. 2303 for the Camaro, 2306 for the GTO. Laser swap, 2303 is the mark. Tight race. 2295 to 2299. So Camaro takes it between him and the GTO. Next up, more Matchbox, another pair of the mint green GTOs. Good time, 2276 to 2289. Laser swap, 2276 is the time. 2279 to a 2285. So the GTO with the purple green lantern decals, taking that one. Basically, I'm just setting it up over here. These are the slower cars. These are the faster cars over here on the left. Another pair of GTOs. We got Matchbox in lane number one and the faster than ever Hot Wheels in lane two. Here we go. Good race, but it was Matchbox taking it. 2306 to a 2310. Lane swappage, 2306 is the mark. 2313 to a 2327. Lousy time by the GTO on the second pass, but he did have the faster run in the first pass. So he is putting the faster than ever to bed early. Next up, we've got the Auto World Dodge Viper in lane number one. Good looking car versus the Matchbox GT40. Another super fast version. Pretty clean looking rides. And go. Oh boy, 2316 to a 2395. That was some serious gappage. One and done victory for the GT40. And you guys out there watch the Goodwood Racing. They had quite a few GT40s on the track just the other day. Some pretty impressive runs. We got a pair on the track right now for us. See how they do. It's the white one, 2322 to a 2327. Lane swappage 2322 is the mark. 2332 to a 2335. So the white GT40 wins them both. He's going on to the next round. 
All right, that's all the cars for the 31 to 40 gram weight category. Again, these guys right here are the uh, slower cars, the ones that lost in the races. Faster ones over here. We'll start putting these guys up head to head to see how they finish. Most of the Matchbox GT40s have a little bit wider wheel track in the rear than they do on the front. And what happens is, see how those cars angle in whenever they go down the track, if they hit the track side, that's always something that hurts the speed on the drag strip. And go. GTO with a 2298 to a 2308. GT40 a little slow out of the gate, but he had some legs on him. Almost caught the GTO. 2298 is the time to beat. It's a pretty good race though. 2304 to 2312. So our orange GTO will be advancing. And the other GT40 in lane one versus a 69 Camaro in lane two. 69 Camaro. With gappage, 2285 to 2316. One and done victory for the purple colored Green Lantern. Up next, Cougar in lane one, another Green Camaro in lane two. Let's see it. Green Camaro, 2284 to 2306. He was right at a car length. Let's go ahead and take him back up to the top. Lanes are swapped and 2284 is the time. Camaro drives around the Cougar, 2287 to 2291. So we've got another green Camaro moving on to the next round. Odd man out over here. So we'll just go ahead and start getting into it. Green GTO in lane one, Camaro in lane two. Yep. Ooh, Camaro out of the blocks first, but the GTO drives around him, 2275 to a 2283. Lane swappage, 2275 is the time. Close to race, 2276 to a 2281. So, the mint green GTO, he's moving on to the final round. Next up, another 69 Camaro in lane one and another GTO in lane two. Good race, GTO takes it 2290 to a 2295. Two great castings by Matchbox, I like them both. 2290 set by the GTO is the time to beat. Ooh, does he get it? 2290 to a 2294. Let me check the slower time on the first pass. Be right back. Tied fast passes with 2290s, but the Camaro ran a 2295 in the first race. 2294 is going to seal the deal by one thousandths. He moves on to the final race. GTO versus GTO for the final race of the 31 to 40 gram rank. But I think we know how this is going to end. 79 to an 05. <laughs> yeah, the green one's quick. One more time with the lane swap. 2279, the time to beat. And that was even a little bit of gappage, maybe. 2282 to a 2308. So the fastest car out of that bunch that we just ran, that green one. Pretty cool looking car, I must say. And that brings us over here. 31 to 40, gatekeeper. Well, would you look at that? Hot bird up on deck. A couple of Pontiacs up in the blocks. You guys know I like my hot birds. It's gonna be a tough call between these two. Uh, let's see how they go. Yep. Wow, 2270 to a 2279, GTO takes that one. Ladies swap, 2270 is the time to beat. Close race, 82 across the board, dead nuts tie. Well, that was cool, but GTO set a fast lap in the first pass. It gets him past the hotbird. Well, uh, going back and revisiting some of my old race cars uh, from the pre-seamless days. Uh, Skywalker, metal on metal, he actually made it back into the ranks. And would you know it, old Darth Vader, he got back in too. Uh, right above him, the Lotus Esprit from the five-pack. 
Uh, let's go for Vader. See if he's got anything for the GTO. Darth Vader can be surprisingly fast, even with the wide rear tires on that guy. Well, let's see if he's got it. Here we go. Be a no. 75 to a 77, pretty close race. They just want 2275 is the time. Close race. 75 to a 78. Uh, I think that's what we had on the last one, wasn't it? No, Darth, his slow pass was a 2277. So uh, GTO getting stopped by Darth Vader, which brings us to Luke Skywalker. Skywalker, an interesting car, metal on metal. Uh, it does have a lot of open stuff on the top, which kind of deters from his weight a little bit, but pretty big wheels in the back. He liked the seamless track pretty good. Let's see if the GTO can get past him. 75 to a 77. They just swap 22.75 is the time. We got him. 73 to a 74. Nice run by the GTO. So, very cool. GTO for Mr. Creasy, making it one step above the bubble. And he did crap out the hot bird, unfortunately. Oh, tear. All right, so he's there. 41 to 50 grams up next. So we've got the Matchbox SSR. Again, the super fast version with the five spoke wheels, nickel axles, and GTO on the other side. Same casting as the ones we just ran, but he does end up weighing a little bit more than the others. Uh, he's a super fast as well. He's got these, uh, what do you call those? Like a split five spoke wheel from that same 05, 06, 04 era, something like that. Let's see how they do. Oh, SSR just blew the doors off of that GTO. 2282 to a 2328. No need to continue there. That guy is running pretty good. And the other car that we've got in that same white category, another SSR. Ah, oh, the silver one. 74 to an 86. Good run. Ladies SWAT, 2274 is the time. Silver drives right around him. 2275 to 2280. So the silver SSR out of this small grouping. Now, there's a lot of other cars that we have to play with, but those were in the bags that I grabbed just for tonight. 41 to 50 grams. Ah, yes. Storm sitting at the gatekeeper spot in that weight category. Storm in lane one, she gets beat. She's getting retired, and that won't hurt my feelings. SSR in lane number two. Let's get some new speed in there. Oh boy, that was close. 70 to a 73. Lane swappage, 2270 is the time. He is not going to do it. 2267 to a 2278. So Storm fends off the Challenger, stays comfortably in her bubble position. Pretty quick little car, just not quite enough. All right, we got some silver bullets up next. All the silver bullets we have here are going to fit into the 51 to 62 gram weight category. There's a few of them that are on the heavier side. Uh, let's see here. Not sure who that is. Somebody versus Batman. Here we go. Oh, things are picking up a little. 2262 to a 2278, good run. That man did a 2262, he now sits in lane one. 75 to a 76, so he was indeed faster on the first pass. He's moving on. Next two in the box. The Flash versus Batman. Let's see it. Boy, Batmans are quick. Really quick. 2258 to a 2294. Pretty sure that was gappage. 
Good enough for me. All right, Batman versus Batman. Uh, the Wonder Woman is in lane number uh, one. The other one is in lane two. I don't, I'm not sure what Wonder Woman's doing in there with Batman. Hmm. <laughs> Take a guess. Here we go. Oh, geez. Wow. 47 to a 94. Uh, yeah, that one's smoking fast. I'm impressed. Um, was that gappage? That was 50. That was almost 50 thousandths difference. I don't think we need to run him again. Might just check his wheels, make sure he didn't shift. Oh yeah, he shifted. Yeah, he shifted. Let's uh, let's do a lane swap. I think this Batman's probably gonna win anyway, but yeah, rear wheel shifted on him. So we'll give him another shot. 22.47, the time to beat. 57 to a 63, yeah, that's a little bit better. Still, the lone Batman taking both of them. 51 to 62 grams. Again, I've got three rows. Bang, bang, all the way down here at the bottom. Whoa, would you look at this guy? Rocket by Baby. He was sitting in my other case with some of the other RLC cars. And turns out, he really likes Seamless, so... It's cool to see him get back into the ranks, shifting some other slower cars out. He's a little bit of a pain in the butt to line up though with that pointy nose. Batman Silver Bullet ought to make it into the ranks. 67 to a 69, wow. Okay, only off by two thousandths. Lanes are swapped, will Rocket by Baby be a 2267 or is it on the way out? Boom. Well, there you go. I have been spending a lot of time in these three rows. Rocket by Baby, 2255, and that's the gatekeeper spot. Managing to fend off the fastest of the silver bullets. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, Brian Creasy sending that GTO in, making it into the ranks, and unfortunately the Hotbird, he's out. Might have to take a visit back to the speed shop. Uh, the rest of these cars, um, gifts to the channel. Thank you very much, Brian, for sending these in. I know you've got a lot more left to run off. That's all we've got time for tonight, but your next video will be some of the rest of these cars that you sent in. Um, yeah, pretty nice cars. Unfortunately, they're not all gonna make in the ranks, but that's okay. Any, anything we can get in there is definitely appreciated. Anything we get to the channel is also very much appreciated. And thank you, Bolo Brown. He also sent some extra cars in along with uh, his modified cars that he sent in. So thank you, Kareem, for that. And with that being said, this one's in the books. I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me for just a little while. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Make sure you ring the bell. That way you're notified of any upcoming videos that head down the track. Until next time, y'all stay healthy. Have fun racing.